Yo, yeah, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video and today we have the Black Widow Chroma from Razor here to review and we're doing the unboxing right now. Uh, this is not the same commentary as with the camera because there was no commentary. I was just doing unboxing. So it's the back of the box if you want to have a look. If you want to have a quick look, uh, I'll just look at it now. But if you want to actually look in depth, please go on to Google Images and type in the name of the product. Uh, Black Widow Chroma Box Back of Box. You should probably find it from there. Which is pretty decent. So it took me about a long time to undo the box because I forgot how to do it. So I just grabbed a knife and sh stabbed a little line in it. And here it comes. It's in a nice protective box and it's got a nice protective seal all over it. Uh, which is pretty decent. And it was a bit of a struggle to figure out how to get out. Um, but I figured it out because I ain't stupid. Uh, so yeah, we just had to pry it open like that. And you see there's a tray the box comes in. We just discard that right there. So as we can see the box, you can see the mouse button already. Not the mouse, the space button is a bit fucked up already. Now I'm a bit pissed at Razor for that. But as long as it clicked, it clicked back in place. So it should be fine. And I'll show you that later on in the video. But as you see there's an instruction booklet. And I thought you could just take it out, but no. But there's cables hidden, which you have to undo first. Before you can take the keyboard out of the box. And that really got me annoyed. Not annoyed, but a bit like, meh, for fuck's sake. So here we go, we're getting the brazier out of the box. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing a video on the razor actually lighting up and the colour spectrum thingy in a bit. But as you can see, look at that mouse pad thing, space bar, that's what it's called. Look, why, why is that happening, razor? Come on, mate, did you fuck it up or is that meant to happen? I have no idea if that's meant to happen or not. But we'll have a little look, see. So yeah, if that's not meant to happen, then that's fine. But if it's meant to happen, then I don't know why they've made that. But I just clicked it back into place and it works. As a normal space bar. So yeah, that's good. Thank you for watching the unboxing bit. And now we'll get on to the review bit. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to today's video. And today we're going to be doing a little review of my new keyboard. It's the Razer Black Widow Chroma. And it looks pretty nice of the starting bat. And we have my lovely Blue Yeti to capture all this audio for you. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to mess around with the Blue Yeti. Not the Blue Yeti, the Razer keyboard. So, we've got the lighting uh, thingy up on my computer. And I'm going to record it, the screen, for you. We'll just get that set up. Properties. Done. Start. So we've got this lovely machine here. So we can change how it goes. We're going to have it breathing. Which looks like that. Oh, that is actually cool. Okay. Fading in, fading out. So we can change the colour if we want it to red. We can have another colour, red and green. Let's try that. So it's red. Green. That's actually pretty cool. We can have reactive, so we're gonna press that. See, so we do this. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. So I think this one's the default static. What does that mean? Nah, yeah, that's obviously what it means. Wave. That looks pretty cool. Ripple. Let's see what Ripple is. Oh, Can have that red. That's actually pretty cool. I'm going to be messing around with these color zones for a while. So let's do Wave for now. What does gaming mode mean? On. Windows key disabled. Off. Oh, that's cool. You can't use the window key. So you can disable some of the keys. And we've got our macros. I don't know what macros are. Yeah, I have to look into that. I think it's you do something and then it copies it when you press it. So that'd be great for cheating on some, some lovely games that I might play. Okay. So we've got game stuff there. So we're going to want to change some of the lighting direction and chroma configuration. Let's see. Okay. Okay, so we can make our own pattern. So with the Q, we want to make it go like that. 
Hmm. That's pretty cool. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. Let's do a couple of tests with writing. That's actually pretty nice feeling to it. It feels really sturdy, I'm not gonna lie. And I will inform you once I've used it for a couple of video games. Because I'm not gonna just upload this review and say it's great. I didn't get this at a discount by the way. I purchased it full price, 134 quid. And I don't know if it's worth the money yet. I'll let you know if it's worth, worth the buy in the next part of this video. So I'll talk to you in a bit, lads. This will be the last thing you see on my camera. Goodbye. Okay, lads, after a couple hours of using this keyboard, I have uh, concluded it's a pretty dank keyboard. I like the way it feels. I like the way how I move around in video games, and I do enjoy it. So if you are going to look for a good keyboard, and you will be spending a nice amount of money, I would recommend this keyboard. However, I don't know many more. The only other keyboard I've used is one built into a laptop and a shitty £7 one. So anything better than the £7 one will be better for me. So it's all your choice, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.